Well, folks, here we are at Wee Wee's Corner. <laughs> here at Wee Wee's World. And, man, it's time to cut the grass again. For the first time this year. I mean, it's like really, really getting up there now. We've had nothing but rain. Mississippi is nothing but a, a rainforest now. And this is the first sunshine we had. I got home a little early today. <laughs> oh, sorry about the air conditioner. It's running in the background there in the carport studio, which is kind of junked up because I've been bringing a lot of things home. But that's not what this video is about. Nor is grass cutting. This is about the video I made previously. This is the Lodge Number no. 5 Made in USA cast iron. I call it vintage because to me, it's probably older than I am. Yeah. But anyway. All I did was wipe this thing out after that video y'all saw that I posted. And I noticed it right there in the center of the screen. I try to use my phone to point it out. But right in there, <laughs> that scratch was already in there. But none of the scratches I put in there, you can't see them. Yeah, cars in the background, I'm outside. They, they love to interrupt my videos. But there's no scratches in this cast iron. I thought I had really scratched the thing up when I did it with that stainless steel spatula. The only reason I did it is to prove to you that cast iron heals itself, and I guess it actually did heal itself without doing anything to it. But actually, what that means is that the seasoning on this cast iron is pretty daggum tough. So, the next video, we're going to do another egg test <laughs> without any oil. Let's see how this turns out. Is this true nonstick compared to Teflon? Back inside... Got it heating up here on the electric stove eye. <laughs> uh, but uh, now here are the the indentations of dimples. While it's not hot, I can touch it. And there's another divot, a pit, one there. This scratch, I don't know where that came from. I think it was through uh, a previous cooking that I did, but I'm not sure. But I noticed it was actually in the video itself when I shot it after reviewing the video. But all them scratches that I put in there, they're, they're not there. And I don't count this one, but I think it was already there. But anyway, if it is, if it ain't, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to heat this thing up without any oil, any butter, no type of grease, no type of lubricant. Let's see if this thing is truly nonstick. And we're going to do it with the egg test. Not scrambled, fried. Because, in my opinion, if you pan sticks, where well, your fried egg turns into a scrambled egg. Sorry about the handheld shakiness and uh, the fact that there's low lighting here. We've got sunlight, we've got uh, the actual room light, and we've got this light here, and that's all the light I got at the moment. <laughs> Except for flashlight, but here's my egg, and Lord, I hope this works because we only had three eggs left, and Wee Wee's not going to be happy if, uh, if I waste an egg. So we're actually cooking. we got some speckled butter beans going on there. we got some... Uh, some ribs here in the in the oh it's fogging up uh, some pork ribs <coughs> in the oven there which is not a part of this hold on let me hold on folks Dad, come in I've got to wipe the limbs all right let's get on with this right here now this pan here pan here has been uh, heating up for about three to four minutes something like that and uh, we're going to take the egg and we're going to crack it one-handed and put it in the pan. There's no oil in there. And can you see that? <laughs> Dang, come this hot. Okay, it's hot enough. Yeah, but there's no oil in there and it's starting to smoke. Let me turn the temperature down just a little bit. <laughs> wow. I need a band-aid. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's see if this right here actually acts like Teflon without any cooking oil as suggested by a lot of my commenters out there. And y'all know who you are. That's Crack it. One-handed operation, trying to hold the camera. Not getting eggshells in there. And ooh, that's actually a good sign, but at the same time, a bad sign. I mean, it instantly turned white. That means that ooh, ooh, that means something here. So I'm not going to edit the video. I got to throw this eggshell away in the trash can that I don't like to show. But I got my stainless steel spatula over here. And this is going to be the longest part of the video. I'm not going to touch it at this point. I want to give this every opportunity to do what it's going to do. My pan is actually too hot. And I think that's an eggshell. It, 
Yep, 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 that's eggshell. Sorry about that, folks. I'm not a professional. I'm an amateur. And that one right there is actually burning. Hmm. This is not a good sign. This is not a good sign. Not at all. This may not be as good as Teflon. Hmm. Wow. Look at the smoke coming off. I think my pan's too hot. I should have turned it down to that normal spot there, which I don't know what number that is. Hmm. And once my egg starts to solidify, because if I touch it now, it's probably just going to break apart. There's no bubble. There's no sizzle. There's like, like, it's pretty, but it's not, it's not frying. It's like a pancake baking. Even even a pancake sizzles when you put butter in there. There's nothing going on. So, okay, now it's it's just starting to get brown. I'm a little bit nervous, folks. I I may have just truly ruined a cast iron pan. Well, not really. Cast iron is very versatile. Let's see what happens here. Oh wait, wait a minute. Oh, that that's a little sticky. It's a little bit sticky. No, I cannot take this egg and swish it around. I cannot do that. Because as a matter of fact, let me grab my pot holder here and, and, and all, all I can do is just jiggle the <laughs> the yolk there it's not going to actually swoosh around remember there's absolutely no oil in here whatsoever but yeah I, I can feel resistance but I can feel the resistance oh, there's another dag of eggshell hold on let me get that up man I thought I did a better job than that get that edge <laughs> You ruined my video, eggshell. Here we go. Yeah, but oh, uh, 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 oh, broke, broke, broke. Yeah, I figured it would. <sighs> this is not frying an egg. This is searing an egg. <laughs> We're searing an egg, I guess. We're not actually frying. But and here comes the flip. Well, I see a little bit of white in there, a little bit of white. But look how golden, that look a pancake, man. Absolutely pancake batter consistency. And, uh, nope, the egg failed in swooshing around. It did not have that swooshing around effect. Sorry about that. Hey, I didn't expect it to. Because uh, I know about cast iron and how it works. But people want to know if this thing was actually truly non-stick. Matter of fact, since I've run my mouth so much, I forgot to get my, so I don't have my blue pan, so I'm going to use the Ozark Trail stainless steel pan to put this in. Mm-hmm, yeah. This is not a fried egg, man. This is actually a, a seared egg, and this is, like, weird. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this off now, because no need to go any further. Nah. Uh -uh. And let's see how this right here turned out. Oh. A little bit of resistance again, but it it doesn't feel bad. Try not to break that yolk because I like a runny egg. I don't like this so-called. Let me flip it back over here on the pan. Yeah, that's a fully cooked egg, and there's some residue. Let's see how bad this right here is. Oh, there's the eggshell. Look at that culprit, man. That. You just had to get in a video, didn't you? But did this thing tear up to the point to where you had to, you know, turn this egg into a scrambled egg? Nope. Because, folks, I'm going to tell you right now, I've never fried an egg, period, without using some type of oil, grease, pan spray, or something. I've never done this before. And I, myself, was curious. Now, there's a spot on my cast iron. But I kind of think that with a little bit of water some hot water that's going to come right out so let me go get my camera stand and we'll try it all right folks we're back in just a few minutes for y'all it's just instantly but now i've got some water here this is cold water this is something you shouldn't really do in a cast iron pan but you got to kind of control that and you see the eggshell is still in there hope you can see it it's like right here it's it wants to be the star of the show here's my spatula Man, I didn't even have to hit that with no scrub brush. All I had to do is just kind of mush the water around a little bit. Very lightly. 
more eggs stuck to the spatula than anything else. Yeah, it, it usually does stick to my stainless steel spatula. Some here on the side. It's not that old. Man, that thing there flung. <laughs> Y'all didn't see it. I don't know if you did or not. But all I'm doing is switching this right here around. And uh, hold on. Let me back up. I don't want to cut. I don't want to edit this thing. I don't want y'all to think I'm lying. Hold on here. Stay on the pan. Stay on the pan. Stay on the pan. Move the camera stand out the way. Yeah. Ooh, it didn't fall over. All right. Reach over here and take the egg out the way. Grab this pot holder thingy right here and pour the water out. Excuse the dirty dishes. <laughs> but uh, let me set the pan right here. I'm gonna get some water going here. I see a little bit of residue left over that was floating. That's water. Pour it out. Put it back here in the pan. Reach over here, turn the water off, <coughs> off camera. I got some paper towels here. Now, we will use secretly scrubbing this thing down immediately with some soap and water, and instantly she's out the way. So now we're right back to the same old pan. And let's take a look and see with paper towel. I'm just going to daub it out. I am not. Going to swipe this thing. Zoom out. I'm zoom. Yeah, I'm zoomed out. So we've got a little bit of residue here left of the egg. And remember, I didn't even use a brush. There's a little bit of residue there. And that's a little bit of residue there. So let's check this out, folks. A little more water. The pan's actually cooled down this time. That's a good deal. Got the uh, really malformed, malfunction scrub brush here. I'm gonna hit it a little bit. Remember, there's no soap and water, and there's no pressure. I'm not like, <clears throat> I'm not doing that. Slightly just washing out. Over to the side, grab my. Hopefully, that's not wet. Pour out the residue of the water. And hold on. I'm Rinse some more of it out. Gotta get the residue out. There we go. Da -da 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 -da. Dee -dee 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 Back on here. Reach over here and turn the water off again. Left-handed. Take the same paper towel. Just daub it out. We're not gonna squish it around. Just gonna daub it. The pan's actually cooled down enough. No soap was introduced. A little bit of residue there, like I say light pressure, but the rest of the pan, it appears that most of it, oh, there's a little bit there. Well, there appears to be no, no egg left except that one little spot right there. I'm going to tell you, that's just, that's pacifying washing it out. Being very gentle, just for the video, to prove that cast iron is non-stick. And this is without oil. But if you were to sit there and say you weren't able to pick the pan up and swoosh the egg around so it's totally non-stick, well, you got me there. But cast iron, folks, in reality, without oil, is non-stick. And this cast iron here doesn't have that real shiny surface on there where it reflects your persona back into your face. This is a dull deal here. And it's non-stick. So, that answers your question, hopefully. If not, leave a comment in the, in the comment section below and I'll try to shoot the video to prove you wrong or to test your myth or try out a theory. Let's find out. This is part two. Cast iron is actually non-stick.